Hey guys, so today we are going to be um, talking about Fat Roblox, this girl who has like 17k, 17k subscribers and she's she a clout chaser and she exposed Polo, quote quote, exposed and she made a quote quote apology video and we're going to see that. But let's just see the first video she actually made. So yeah, let's begin. Subscribe to my channel and become part of the Fat Squad. So a lot of you guys have probably heard about this guy because he has a bunch of subscribers, like 88,000 or something. And he makes videos exposing small YouTubers or big YouTubers who he thinks are in the wrong. And most of his proof is opinionated and he does everything he can in his power to destroy a person. Himself opinionated, yeah. Some of it is his opinion, but actually, he used facts and screenshots from other people too. He give his opinion on it, and he give his, you know, he actually have facts about it. Cause most of these people are his friends or when the people who actually know him or want him to speak about this topic. This is why nobody take Roblox City. Um, Roblox channel seriously no more. Like, just look at yourself. Acting stupid. All right, let's continue. I have to actually say something right quick. Thank y'all for 41 subscribers. Please comment, I subscribe, and I will pitch on in my video, next video. So yeah. All right, let's actually talk about it. So she started exposing and all that stuff. It's stupid. Facts is stupid. Okay. Back to him, especially what he did to Lisa Gaming. And before you do anything at all, dislike this video and just leave and cancel me. I do not support Lisa Gaming. Like, she's done some really horrible things, but this man has legit went out of his way to make people, like, unsubscribe to her. Lisa Gaming get, but we're not talking about that. You're trying to expose her. But that's what he gets. That's what Lisa Gaming gets. She is a liar, racist, homophobic, and all that stuff. She don't deserve a platform. She don't deserve subscribers at all. Like, he tell anybody if, like, they doing bad, unsubscribe. Because don't subscribe to somebody manipulating go in your mind. He's trying to help these kids out so they won't do what she do and won't be hated online. All right, let's continue. This is the part of the video. I'm going to let the video play out fully. Then I'm going to give my opinion on the end. I was about to say I was going to react to the apology, but that's going to be on another video. If y'all want, please leave a like and uh, subscribe and comment if you want to see it. Um, her opinions is... It will actually make you lose brain cells and... I'm sorry, but by watching my new video, you will get them back. All right, peace, guys. To make people like unsubscribe to her, I've been looking through his comments, and I've also seen a bunch of people who have been telling him to make more videos exposing people with fake proof, just so that he could get more views. And I also think that's a really, really nasty thing to do, especially if you're just ruining people's careers for no reason. On his recent community post, I thought that I had to speak up about this because it was something that's honestly unacceptable, and his videos seem very, very convincing to everybody. So that's why a lot of people are actually his fans. But I was just being straightforward and I said that he does these videos for views because it was pretty obvious to me as a content creator. I honestly was not expecting a reply back because I probably knew that he was just going to delete me or block me because I was a hater even though I technically exposed him. But his reply is what blew me away honestly because it was so manipulative. I honestly don't understand how people can get to that level. So here he says, it says you, it's disgusting that you belittled these situations. How vile. Also, you copying my exposing TikTok hacker's video, you're the pure example of hypocrisy. Doesn't speak about exposing people for views when you do the exact same. So, to start off, I did not belittle any situation that's happened with any of the small creators and him. Like, where in my comment did I say that what that person did is okay? Literally nowhere. At this point, he's just assuming things. So, that's the first red flag for why you should not subscribe to this man. Second, he thinks that he owns every single video I idea in the world, like if somebody makes an exposing a hacker video, he's gonna go over to them and say, 
Hey, I'm the master of exposing people and you cannot do that. Like, this guy is so cocky and full of himself. I do not even understand who boosted his ego that much. So, there you go. Another lie in just one comment where he says that I take his content? Like, dude, I literally found out about your channel today. I've never subscribed to you and I've never heard of you, so don't think you're all of that, please. And lastly, you could clearly see in that comment before it's edited or anything, because he's probably gonna go and change his comment and edit it or something because he's just a manipulator like that. He legit makes those videos for views. He lies for views, he accuses people and assumes stuff about people for views. Honestly, this man is the pure definition of a clout chaser and a hypocrite. Man, you can expose people all you want, but you just got exposed for exposing people falsely. <laughs> and I'm and talking about like, oh, he's still content. Oh, he's all that. You should have subscribed to him. That's another way of like, oh, 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 shut up, boo hoo. Your content is way more so than hey, if somebody told, oh, your content is bad too. I don't care. I know it's kind of bad. I'm just kind of laid back. I, I still knowing YouTube a little but hers kind of just like this weird side but yeah it's kind of stupid you know she used to get something so I keep stopping somebody in my house keep uh, freaking yelling anyways like and subscribe guys and comment on subscribe and get a